If you are looking for the best $1100 gaming PC build, this is going to be the perfect video for you. I'll show you the best $1100 system that can run any game that you want smoothly at 1440p resolution and you can also play at 4K and 1080p very high FPS. But be careful because if you don't have enough PC knowledge and you try to search the components yourself, most likely you will bottleneck your gaming PC and it will feel stuttery. So trust me, I see this happening all the time and that's why I am making this video. You will have the link to this exact system and the alternatives down in the video description in case you want to buy it and I will show you the exact level of performance that you will achieve at different resolutions. My name is Valentino, with that being said, let's start. And for the CPU, I chose the AMD Ryzen 5 7600 from the AM5 platform. The most important thing that you need to know about the 6 core processor is that it's amazing in terms of price to performance. It will be ideal to pair this CPU with the graphics card from this build. There's not going to be any bottlenecks and it will allow you to play esports games, which are usually high CPU demanding at 240 plus FPS when it comes to 1440p resolution. So you can buy a 240Hz 1440p monitor and take full advantage of it, or even a 360Hz one if you want to play games like Valorant or CS2. Now, this CPU is also very upgradable down the line because of the platform, which I will be talking about in just a second after talking about the CPU cooler. For around $18, you can get the ID Cooling SE214 XC, which is going to be an amazing choice in my opinion, because it's going to make the whole gaming experience more quiet, the aesthetics are going to look better. Now, as I said before, this system is very upgradable, and the reason why is because of the motherboard and the platform. Here you get the ASRock B650M Pro RS, and since you are on the AM5 platform, very upgradable over time, and big thumbs up in terms of upgradability. In terms of memory, you get 32 gigs of DDR5 at 6000 MHz. Now, if you are a beginner, you probably don't understand, but this is basically the sweet spot for gaming, very good speeds, and you will be able to do streaming and content creation because 32 gigs of RAM is way more than enough for gaming, but it is also the sweet spot for multitasking and productivity work. In terms of storage, you get a 1TB SSD, so you can download plenty of games. But if you ever need more storage, since this system, as I said before, is upgradable, you can also upgrade the storage pretty easily, and it's not going to be an expensive upgrade. So if you're ever running out of storage, you can upgrade down the line. Then for the graphics card, and probably the most important part when it comes to a gaming PC in terms of performance, we have the AMD RX 7800 XT. This is one of the best price performance 1440p graphics cards out there and in terms of gaming performance in the latest most high demanding titles in a test with those type of games the 7800 XT was able to average around 100 fps when it comes to high to ultra settings so that's a very good level of performance considering we are talking about 1440p ultra in high demanding games and as i said before if you want to play esports shooters you will be able to achieve 240 plus FPS, possibly 360 plus FPS depending on the settings that you are playing at. So overall, there's clearly no limits when it comes to this system at 1440p resolution. And if you want to play at 1080p right now and eventually upgrade to 1440p, well, at 1080p you will be achieving even higher frame rates and you will be achieving very high FPS even when it comes to the most high demanding titles. Now, if you want to play at 4K resolution, that's a different story. Even though this system is very capable of 4K resolution, I do recommend you turning on FSR, which is the upscaler from AMD, because at native resolution you will be achieving between 50 to 60 fps on average depending on the game so if you want to play on the high or ultra preset trust me you want to turn on fsr for you to achieve a smoother frame rate at around 70 or 80 fps on average depending on the exact game and also depending on the settings now for the case you get the montec air 100 argb i absolutely love this one i built a system myself with this case it comes with four pre installed rgb fans which is amazing because you don't have to install the fans yourself. The RGB looks great. The airflow is top tier, in my opinion, for the price. So you will not have to worry about any bottlenecks when it comes to your airflow. And last but not least, we have the power supply. And I went with the NZXT C750. This one is A tier rated, so top quality 
well branded and 750 watts is going to be enough for this system and also for some upgrades in case you want to upgrade for example your CPU to the fastest one in the market 750 watts power supply is going to be way more than enough and most importantly since it's a tier rated your PC will not explode. Now the total price for this exact system by the time of filming is $1118. Maybe when you're watching this, the price is different. It might be lower, it might be higher, but I do recommend you checking the latest prices and availability from the links down below. Now, I have two alternatives for this system in case you have more money to spend or in case you have less money to spend and I want to go through those right now. Before going there, I want to say that if you are finding valuable information so far, leave a like and subscribe is going to help the channel grow a lot. If you have more money to spend for around $100 more, you can get the RTX 4070 Super from Nvidia which is a faster graphics card and better overall. It's going to achieve around 108 FPS when it comes to 1440p high demanding titles and you get DLSS which is the better upscaler. It looks better, it has better performance and also you get a better level of ray tracing performance in case you care about ray tracing at all. And also the 4070 Super is usually better when it comes to 3D rendering, content creation softwares, GPU is better overall. The only thing that is lacking is VRAM because here you get 12 gigs of VRAM so just be aware if you want to play for example Alan Wake 2 at 4K Ultra settings, you may run out of VRAM. And since DLSS is actually better than FSR, if you play at 4K, the image quality is going to be better and so is going to be the performance. The total price for this system with the 4070 Super instead is $1,260. Remember that you will have every alternative mentioned down in the video description. And then if you have less money to spend, I recommend you going for the Ryzen 5 7500F processor. Now you can only buy this one through AliExpress, so it might take a bit longer to ship to your house, but the 7500F is going for around $133 and it's very, very similar compared to the Ryzen 5 7600 when it comes to gaming performance, most likely you will not even notice the difference. So if you are willing to buy from AliExpress and save up some money, go with the 7500F. And I also recommend you replacing the case from the Montec Air to the Fractal Design Pop Mini Air RGB. This one is top tier in terms of quality and it's going for around $10 less. Now, the total price will be around 1060 bucks, so about $50 cheaper than the main system and you will be basically getting the same level of gaming performance. And if you need my personal PC help, that's going to be the top link in the description. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.